<laughs> hey Chibukizi. Hi, how are you? You're incredible. Alai. Yeah. Guys, so today we are following the Bora Bora's story. I actually just want to... Bora Bora, Bora Bora ni wewe. Bora Bora. Just Bora Bora. Guy, Aki Chibukizi, oh my camera is dying. Damn. You told us quickly that you were Bora Bora guy and then you went to Churchill. Yeah, I used to be a Boda Boda rider. When I finished high school, I was a Boda. My mom took a loan for 60 Gs. I could buy Ndudi Apple. I could buy Ndudi and I could buy Ndudi. So I used to carry guys from... I actually used to sell Changa. Let me tell you. Changa, I know how to brew Changa by the way. I know how to brew Changa. I can brew Changa real good. No! I used to... On the real though, when I was like a small boy, I think probably between 19 and 20, 21, I was a proper... Boda Boda guy in my yeah. village. There's a place called Katine. Mm -hmm. Used to transport Changa from Katine to the other places. And I got an accident twice. Oh, yeah, Paul. And so. But look at you, you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. You tell You tell me. 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 You Tell them to subscribe by the way. Subscribe, please. You need to Ebu, subscribe. Ebu, say much subscribe, say much subscribe. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> guys, you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel because uh, we will be giving you content. 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 <laughs> from uh, time to time <laughs> and positive vibes Yay. so like subscribe and share and share and now of course i, I got it i need to get a good thumbnail so you'll be my click what's a thumbnail a thumbnail is like a photo oh you like to yeah oh, no, no, no. you're gonna give me the smile then oh it's mine oh yeah <laughs> Wishing every other person who is watching this thing all the best guys. Let's live life. This is our country. We are Kenyans. Positive vibes. We are the future young people. Yeah. And take care of Boda Boda guys. Take care of Boda Boda guys as well. Na wale ambao munatumana, bibi za wenyewe wanabebo na Boda Boda. Sisi kama watu wa Boda Boda, we know what we do to you. Stop that business. What? Kana mutu yako kwa nyumba. Mambo ya kushinda na pijiche unapeana simu hivyo. Ongea na uyu. Ongea na uyu. Ongea na uyu. Ongea na uyu. People have very polarizing opinions on motorcycles. What I'm saying is this. Most of the motorcyclists mm -hmm. in Kajiado mm -hmm. are training today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is on the road, mm -hmm. carrying. Mm -hmm. When turning left, mm -hmm. Ikete is only turning. Right. So, the government mm -hmm. look onto that. Yeah, do you to think? To avoid mm -hmm. mine accidents. Mm -hmm. We have lost many people. Yeah. Many people are crippled. Yeah. So, motorcycles. motorcycles. So, motorcyclists are telling me that for them, their biggest uh, threat on the road is drivers because they don't care about the motorcyclists. They just like knock them down and sometimes they just have to like fall on a ditch because. No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. I use motorcycles almost every day. Mm -hmm. These motorcycle drivers mm -hmm. are very reckless. They're reckless. They don't observe the, what? Mm -hmm. the road mm -hmm. rules. Yeah. They overtake mm -hmm. even at the corner. Yeah. Where there is not overtake. Look at that one for instance. No one is wearing a hel or helmet or that one. Like nobody's wearing a helmet. No one has like a first aid kit in their in their motorcycle. Like you have seen for yourself. Yeah. Most of them don't have helmets. Mm -hmm. They don't have extra helmet for the customer. Yeah. They just carry a bag bag of what garbage. Wow. What do you think is the solution for this? Solution? Because these people need to make money and I guess they don't make enough the money. To come in. What, will, what can the government do? 
What can the government do? To put what? Measures. Mm -hmm. Strict. If you don't have helmet, mm -hmm. driving license, no carrying mm -hmm. passengers. That's all. But I guess they need money to be able to buy the helmet. They both come with two helmets. Mm -hmm. For the driver, mm -hmm. for them. But they don't use them. They keep them at home. Oh. Even they don't have what? Reflectors. Reflectors. Yeah. And most of them don't have any training on first aid, so if anything even happens... Yeah, nothing like that. Ay, ay, ay. Like it's, it's, it's a tragedy. Considering the amount of motorcycles that run around, it's, it's really sad. Hmm. Okay, thank you, sir. What's your name? My name is mm -hmm. Ken Alfred. Ken Alfred, thank you for the information. Mm -hmm. All right. Have thank a nice day. Ah, thank you, sir. So I've got to make these commentaries inside the car because there's music playing and I don't want um, I don't want copyright issues so we're gonna take them in the car and then when I go outside I'll show you what's going on. So basically this event is a training event for border border riders, I mean motorcyclists and as you know guys motorcyclists, motorcycle accidents in Kenya is insane. It's a, like it's a lot. The numbers are scary and because of that uh, there's th this training that has been organized um, for the motorcyclists to come and get the safety measures that they need um, get some masks get some reflector jackets and ju just the training that they need for instance if you're in an accident what to do with your client and this kind of stuff that you're not necessarily given when you get your license to ride these motorcycles so that's the point of this event there's, there's also like a HIV testing corner you know because these people are exposed to a lot of stuff for instance when you get into an accident you know there's a thing that they don't teach you when you go to like um, a training to license yourself you're not told that maybe if if you get into an accident there's a chance you might there might be some transmission uh, of HIV between you and the client if people are cut and the, because you know sometimes you get into an accident it's something minor and you just move you know but there's no one is telling you that probably you need to think about your safety your health the possibilities that you might get other diseases and stuff in the so we've got um, a HIV testing corner as well and another thing at least that I got is that the border border circle like the motorcycle circle is the most organized circle ever so for instance finding the contacts of these people it was all available like they have their own organization going on that is way more organized than you can possibly imagine because when you think about the border border and um, the motorcyclists it's chaos it's it's chaotic you wouldn't think that they're this organized but they have a lot of infrastructure or internal structure that goes on so organizing this event was quite easy in terms of getting numbers um, identifications of people and getting them to come here so if you like that um, please remember to subscribe so today <laughs> today you're not getting any glam Rachel today you're getting Rachel in the streets Hey guys, just came back in the car to get money to go pay the guy that gave me the uh, the ride who I went on a ride with. Of course, it's not my first time riding on a motorcycle with no helmet or whatever. I've done that before. In fact, I never wore a helmet for as long as I've ridden on a motorbike. And every single person who I spoke to today told me that first they've had an accident. Secondly, their biggest risk is the um, people with cars. And this actually hurt me. And what they said was, you'd rather cause your own accident like ride in a ditch and fall there than be knocked by a car that thing 
yeah it hit different it hit different so like if you are a car rider honestly and if you see a motorcycle guy i know sometimes it can look really crazy on the road with motorcycles but just be a little bit kind and a little bit considerate because <laughs> they are more at risk than you are when you think of power dynamics um instead of punishing a motorbike guy just think about it really they are more at risk than you are so just be more thoughtful it, this thing has completely changed my thoughts on motorcyclists and stuff because I always thought, oh my god, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Are you doing that? Oh my god, like I would be so stressed out uh, when I see motorcyclists, but just talking to them and listening to them has just changed my perspective. Just help me go back. Nobody oh gosh. I was out running doing my stuff and I kind of missed the, one of the most important trainings. My mom had asked me to buy for her a belt. So I'm heading into the market. I'm not so sure where that is. So most likely if I find a motorbike guy. <laughs>
ukiwa na accident okay to barabara yeah unajua kenye unajua kufanya first aid okay kwa sababu like kama mimi niko solo mhm ndio kufanya first aid mhm do in my bike hakuna first aid kit yeah so za pata kama niko na injury sio kwa mguu mkono mhm so ni za za sema like ni za kata a close Tire up, alafu, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, like, so may accident. Mm -hmm. Kauze, labda, tu, me, tu, tu, yu, mali. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, but, okay, like some corners, ni, 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 me, toke, na bike. Mm -hmm. but, na gari, amuja, me, hit. Oh, Kama hizo, so, ni nguma ni, ni okay to avoid lakini yeah. shida ni just speed yeah speed, speed yeah alafu hizi control kenye ile mtungira atafanya sasa kama like mtumie kama mtu akipiki ni kwa speed nipata na msee so itakuwa kwa ile speed yeah no sai bike aina ile instant brake you can again a slide so lazima tu tani ni ka crash yeah man the mina ku feel as in a feel to border border sana because naona mna kwanga at least sana the most na sana ju e bike haina body sio nyenye ndo body yeah exactly yeah in a day unaweza make pesa kama ngapi hivi kidai border okay like kama mimi border na nation yangu sijaandikwa okay like per day mimi za pata like same 2000 Iki pungua 1800. So iko na do. Yeah. Now do you have kids? Yeah, even wife. You have a wife? Yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. And you able to like sustain them? Like my share about that thing. Yeah, but stack up with my share with them. Of course. Yeah. The great. Yeah. Yeah. Next time probably utakuwa na Nini yako yenye sasa wengi wanapata watu wala wende waendeshe. Yeah, ama za kuwa like gari nini. Guys. Mm. Hiyo ndio vision yako ama dream yako kubwa ni nini? Oh, dream yangu kubwa. Mm. Okay, mimi ni passion yangu mimi ama driver, mm -hmm. za kuwa driver, mm -hmm. za kuwa za kupenda ni drive mseka wewe labda kuna gari yako nini. <laughs> drive kutoka hiyo. Mm -hmm. Lakini sana sana bike mm -hmm. like okay, sisi sana bike mm -hmm you see no option in it yeah, no, no. yeah. so na fana nifanye bike for some while mm -hmm. then by that the yeah that's true then answer somewhere yeah kuna sikuje wasanti ah karibu